uh, when it comes to emotional intelligence, I want you to understand it's a brain thing. It's not a heart thing, but it's a brain thing. Okay. All right. Your emotions happens here, detected here. The thermometer only is here. Okay. The temperature is here. Does that make sense? All right. Now, so when it comes to emotional intelligence, I want to just introduce you to your three brains. For those who thought they were walking around with one brain today, because you meet me, you get two more free. All right. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to ask you to do this. I can do this. Right. So go across. Yeah, very good. And hold it right. Now, I want you to imagine this is your brain. This is what I call your top brain or your logical brain. You know how we say I'm left brain, I'm right brain, my right controls my left and all that stuff, right? Now, this is what I call your logical brain, not I call, it is your logical brain. So your logical brain is all on top here, all right? Now, below your logical brain, if you look through, can you look in? If you look in, you cannot see anything. All right, and if you can't see anything, that's fine because your emotional or your limbic brain has been hiding in here for centuries, right? So that's your second brain. And then right at the bottom is what we call your reptilian brain that actually manages all your physical function, your hunger, your body parts, and da, da, da right? And if you think about it, there's this, imagine this as your backbone. So if this is your brain, this is your backbone. Now, we are a two-way communication system, right? This fellow sends instruction to the body. The body picks up signals from the surrounding and sends the signal back to the brain. We need to work together because we are one person, right? Now, when we talk about emotions, your middle brain, which is your emotional brain, you are acting from that brain. Why do we say emotional intelligence? When you're emotionally intelligent, you are using your second brain, which is your emotions, and you're using your logical brain to come together to make decisions. And the decisions are made here in this part of the brain known as your executive function or prefrontal. Okay? Mm -hmm. And this part of your brain is always growing or maturing. You know, when you talk about maturity, it's here, right? Prefrontal, okay? I think there are some um, some groups, lah, some races, they will say if you have a big forehead, you are clever, right? Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure about that, right? <laughs> but basically, this is your prefrontal cortex and this is where you make decision, right? Now, why is that important uh, for us to know? You need to know that your brain, especially if you're not 26 yet, your whole physical brain only totally physically develops at around 25 or 26. All right. So if you're not 25 or 26, you need to know that you even physically, you have a lot more to grow. Right. And, and that's important for us to acknowledge because we often think, you know, oh, if the brain is ready, you know, we are ready. So we are an evolving part of ourselves. Now, the other thing you also need to know about the brain is what you don't use, you lose. Right. So it's just like your body muscles. If you exercise a part of your body muscle, that part of your body muscles stays strong, stays viable. And it can be used when it, it is required, right? If there are parts of your brain that you're not using, naturally you will lose it. And that's what actually happens.